Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another different setup. Traveling TFA is back, but we have to make a video about the content that we need to see today in FIFA 23. Today is a very important day for League One team in the season because we need to see good upgrade pack content. And we're not just talking about the stuff that we see every week. We're talking about SPCs that we can also craft with those upgrades that we know and expect are going to come out today. So what I want to do in today's video is get us prepared for the upgrade grind of League One team of the season because today is the day where really we begin the chance of being able to pack Mbappe, Messi, Lacazette, and probably a lot of Fofanas, Sambas, maybe some Jonathan Klaas, and some Toribos, right? It's all about the upgrade pack grind today, and I want to take a look at that in today's video video and also we might have a brand new type of upgrade pack coming as an SBC or maybe in the store who knows that uh, we have not seen dropped at all during the team of the season yet and it could have a really really good chance of packing blue so we're going to talk about that in today's video and of course everything happened yesterday on a interesting Sunday in FIFA 23 so if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Happy holidays for some of you guys that are maybe on a bank holiday today. And there was a lot of holidays going on in the U.S. It's Memorial Day. So if you're taking it easy today, if you're at work, whatever it may be, normal schedule. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate all the support and well wishes uh, as always. But hope you have a great day. Let's look back at yesterday on FIFA 23 with the Sunday content that we had. Because it was a very, very interesting day. And I want to start out with the biggest L of yesterday. And that was the 88 plus FIFA World Cup Trophy Titans or Fantasy Foot Hero Player Pick. Now, it is a one of four, but heroes that are 88 plus, especially with the World Cup heroes included in this player pick, is just very, very disappointing at this stage of the game. It is nice that it's a one of four, but even the price here, in my opinion, is just a little bit too much. Now, I wish that there would have been an icon pack. Let's be honest. We need icon player picks at this stage of the game. I think this is not a terrible player pick, right? But this is not a terrible player pick for like... I don't know, maybe a month ago, right? This right now just is not good enough. At this point last year, guys, just to kind of put it in perspective, we were having icon moments player picks at this time of the year. 93 plus icon packs for icon moments as well. The highest rated icon pack we've seen this year is a 90 plus. And now we have an 88 plus World Cup hero player play pick, which is it's just not good enough right now. I know there's a lot of people that are getting W's from this. And actually, I think EA did mess up with this. I don't think there's going to be compensation now, uh, but they did absolutely mess up. And it seems like a very small detail, but I don't know. Just keep an eye on Twitter for this to see if they end up doing some compensation. But since they didn't take the SBC away, Probably not going to be happening. They showed an 86 rated, like an 86 number right there on the screen where it said 87 rated squad. It showed 86. So that had us thinking compensation right away. But evidently, you never know how it goes with compensation. Sometimes things seem like a big deal, but then to EA, they must not be. So this one must be one of those that's not that big of a deal because they changed it to say 87 and now it is fixed. So with that being said, the price of this SBC, unfortunately, did not move a lot of your SBC fodder. A lot of these prices are still down and actually they're very investable once again i think i would look at investing in some of this fodder 166k for this spc as well there's a lot of heroes that are below that cost and a lot of them that are just behind the power curve as well again as to why we're not super happy for that spc and again like i said and we always kind of know this, right? It goes, we didn't really talk about it in yesterday's video because it kind of goes without saying, right? We always invest in fodder on the weekends and we hope for good SBC content. We didn't get good SBC content yesterday, but thankfully there is rumors, there is leaks and also expectations of good SBCs coming today, tomorrow, into this week that could still make fodder go up. So I don't think a fodder investment is a bad thing, but I, I was specifically now focused on the middle to the lower tier. I really like the 83s and the 84s and the 85s because the SBCs that we should have coming out today, tomorrow, probably going to be demanding that lower tier stuff a bit more. The top tier yesterday, maybe up a little bit, right? Your 87s and 88s maybe rose just a little, but not a lot. And especially as they are down again right now at very viable prices, 85s in the low AK range. We love that. 84s under 4K. We love that. So that's where I would be looking right now on this game to invest in a little bit of fodder. I think the prices are once again very good to dip into if you want to do that for some upcoming content. And we'll talk more about that 
later on in the video. Let's talk about the SBC objective and just Super League Tots in general really fast. I don't want to take too much time covering these, but hey, there's some nice cards. Starting with the Sergio Oliveira, four-star, four-star, high, high. And if you're going to make any sort of team with these Super League Tots cards, this is the guy that's got to be in your squad. Really good links, especially to what I think is maybe the best card for the value in this team. Dries Mertens. A FIFA legend, you could say, uh, has got himself a very nice team of the season card here for only, what is it, like 70,000 coins. 70,000 coins for a 5-star skill, 4-star weak foot, center attacking mid, Mertens, who can also play striker. He's got 98 agility and 98 balance. Really, really good stats inside of the card. Not the best shooting, right? Really solid passing. You throw a chem style on there with all of the traits that he has for 70,000 coins and that SBC on top of it. I mean, the Oliveira SBC, what is that coming in at on Footbin? It can't be that expensive, right? It's coming in at 23,000 coins. Man, for basically 100K, you can get Mertens, Oliveira, and then maybe one other card from the team. If we take a look at this side, you could pick up the center back with 80 pace for a link or maybe a cardi if you want to go for the bigger card for 300,000 coins. There's some really nice links there with the Galatasaray links. I think that's a W right now. Some of this team is very expensive. A cardi, a little bit expensive for me. Five star weak foot's really cool. This Ender Valencia card is the headliner of the team. And man, is he overpriced. He is almost max price, 750,000 coins. This is just rarity, in my opinion. Hitting on this card, he should probably not be worth more than like 400k, right? Remember last week, first day, Mukhtar from the MLS started out crazy, crazy expensive. I'm getting the exact same vibes here. For a three-star weak foot at this stage of the game, five-star skills is cool. 99 stats in multiple areas on this card. Shot power, agility, heading, jumping, right? Great card. Just not worth this price because he is super duper rare. But the rest of this team, I think, looks really good and, and fun to try. And, you know, of course, there's a lot of the lower tier, very packable cards in here, like the center back, the right back, and the goalkeeper that we're going to get tired of by the end of the week for sure. But a nice drop yesterday, too. And if you combine the cards on the market and the SBC with who we got in objectives, Nathan Redmond in here as well with the Besiktas links. Not a bad card again, really solid one, not super crazy hard to do. Four star, four star with maxed out acceleration, dribbling, agility balance wise looks really, really good. The only thing I don't like about this is there was no XP dropped in this objective yesterday, so we couldn't progress towards getting level 30, right? That's something that I'm currently looking at. We only have a few more days, 10 more days to get level 30, 19K XP left. We'll be able to get there for sure. But I'm especially looking towards the end, especially as people are starting to claim that level 30 pack and player pick. I was hoping that there would be some XP in there today, and there was not. So that's kind of a wrap up for the League One or the Super League team of the season. I think it's decent, guys. I think it's decent, and I think there's some fun cards that are in there to try for sure. Now, let's move on to the big conversation at hand, and that is today. Guys, this week, EA needs to step it up. They need to step up the content yesterday was solid again apart from the player pick and i have high hopes for this week because we started off with a really really good kempembe sbc we have another flashback sbc that is leaked you guys maybe have seen it before and i think there's potential that this is today i also think there's potential this could be tomorrow but i want to talk about this in general just for the week looking ahead we need good content this week because the upgrade packs, yes, are everybody's going to be doing upgrade packs starting today. You have a chance of packing Mbappe, Messi, Neymar, Renato Sanchez in packs with good SBCs like Kempembe, maybe this Awar craftable at the same time. People are going to want to hit those upgrade packs to try to hit the big boy blues, but also to get fodder to do SBCs like this one. This card right here, I'm very much looking forward to. Now, I'm not 100% sure. We've talked about it already in the videos. Not 100% sure that it drops today. Could be tomorrow on Tuesday, but this is going to be a card that I think will be on the level of Kempembe. Um, in terms of like overpowered and just meta and usable in the game. He just may not be as loved because of the links, right? You're going to have to use an Olympic Lyon link or you're going to have to use a tall to get this card in your team. But that's just a FIFA name that is so, so good. And it's got to come out at a good price as well. It's very crucial that an SBC like this this week and of course the upgrade packs that we were going to be getting today drop at pretty good value uh, prices, right? It's crucial that that happens because... We need this week to be good. The last couple weeks, especially last week during La Liga, the, the content, it just started to kind of 
drop off, right? The hype just kind of started to dip, and I think a lot of people were starting to maybe even turn away from FIFA with, with the way Team of the Season was going. It started off hot, and now it's just not doing as well. It needs to stay hot this week. It has the hype of League One Tots cards and packs. I know you and me both will love to pack some blues this week. We're going to go for it, right? I'm going to send a lot of coins and upgrade packs. I've stocked my club with golds. I'm ready. I'm set to go. I can't believe these cards are still 700 coins at the moment. I imagine they're going to go up more today. I mean, with all the PSG guys and packs, once again, I do believe this week will be a week that gold rares go to 1,000 coins just because of the hype of League One Tots cards being in packs. So with everybody wanting to do upgrades, of course, I really hope there's good SBCs out there to craft as well. Now, we've had 81 times 11s on the past couple of Mondays every single week as well as a part of SBCs. This week, and you may remember during the warm-up series for Team of the Season, and maybe some of you guys had saved these packs up to open this past weekend, we had the 75 times 11 League one upgrade pack. I think that's going to return today um, because, again, it's been the 81 times 11 for all these other leagues. I would imagine that EA drops the 75 times 11 for League One. Again, it's a 75 plus pack because there are so much fewer rare gold cards in the League One, technically increasing your chances to pack a team of the season card. So we'll watch out for that SBC today. That's why, again, I really like the low tier fodder investment, the 82s, the 83s, the 84s, because that pack is probably going to cost, you know, two squads, probably like an 83 and an 85, similar to what the 81 times 11s cost, uh, just because there's, again, high chance of packing a team of the season from those. So watch out for that today. And then something else that I want to draw your attention to is this leak right here for a pack that was added to the code an 83 plus three league one players pack now if i've done the math correctly and i've kind of uh you know heard about this through the grapevine and the math kind of works out to be this i believe there are 18 cards available that are 83 plus from the league one and I think it's like something like seven or eight of those are team of the season cards of uh, just from the golds. So there is a very high potential here to pack a league one team of the season player from this pack. Now, I don't know. There's kind of a debate going on right now. I don't know if this is going to be an SBC, which is where I would land in this. I think an 83 times three league one players pack would be an SBC. Other people think that it would be in this store right now. We've already seen the store get some action because of the player pick, which did not get refreshed yesterday. That League One 25,000 coin player pick, as I go into the store through the back door here because I've got a couple cards still in my unassigned, that player pick did not get refreshed yesterday. We have a 10 coin pack, uh, which I need to open once I you know quick sell those three gold rares or put it into an SBC, but we did not get the refresh of that player pick. That is still something that we could get as well on this game, but if we get an 83 times three, League One Players Pack. Again, I feel like that would be in an SBC section. Probably not in the store. It would be an untradeable pack since we've already had a tradable player pick that has been dropped. That would be a must-do SBC. And whatever that would require, maybe an 84 or an 85 rated squad because EA know the potential of that pack, that would make fodder move a lot as well. So that's something that I would draw your attention to as maybe dropping today, maybe not dropping until Wednesday or, or Thursday even. Who knows? But that's something to kind of remember that's coming or could be coming because that could absolutely be massive so that's kind of something that i want to talk about there also for today on monday i think it's actually a realistic shout since we did not see it yesterday and this game is quickly approaching the wijnaldum versus the montiel either we get this today in my opinion or we get awar i guess we still have the eusebio that is kind of lurking out there as well in the leaking um potential of sbcs that could be there so eusebio awar or this wijnaldum our list is just going to drop off every single day one day we're going to get one the next day we're not i feel like this might be today uh because it's the slower days for sbcs have have been mondays it's all about the upgrade packs on monday so i would not be surprised if this is today and then maybe our is tuesday but either of these two coming out would be nice sbcs to craft and especially today with the upgrade packs again uh, that's where a lot of the hype is for this game now let's take a look once more at the league one team of the season cards because mondays are oftentimes where we see a bit of a market rise and i want to talk about the market a little bit as we had kind of a slower day yesterday, right? As I look at a lot of these card prices, most of them, they're kind of in the same range, right? From where they were last night to where they were yesterday. A couple of fluctuations here there. Jonathan David, still 700,000 coins on the market. And this whole League One team 
is just kind of in the same realm of where it's been, right? Messi, Messi's down a lot. He's 4.6 mil. Lacazette is 1.8. That's down a bit. Marquinhos is decently low. Yedder's 800K. Verratti's 400,000 coins. A lot of these guys are kind of maintaining their prices with a few fluctuations here or there. That's probably going to be the same thing today. But again, like I kind of made the new rule, right, this last week, and it worked out really well. I'm glad I didn't trade with any of the La Liga Tots cards from Monday until late Tuesday night into the start of Wednesday. That's going to be my plan again this week. I will probably not touch any of these cards from today, this morning. They could have a slight rise this morning, so if any of them you see are down a lot and they have really good fluctuations. This Lacazette is one that has had very, very good fluctuations uh, for me, especially during a couple points of the weekend. He was like 1.8 to 1.9 yesterday, so probably not going to trade with him personally. But if uh, any of these guys go up a bit today into the morning hours, into the daytime on Monday, I would take the cash. I would because between now and and between Wednesday, when the guaranteed pack for League One Tots comes out, I would imagine that most of these cards will be down a little bit in value until then. So that will be my word of warning once again, as it kind of is every single week, especially on those middle to low tier cards. I know Nuno Menj is so needed for links in the cup. If you're playing with the Kempembe SBC, right? You need a PSG left back. You need a left back in general, right? I feel like this card needs to be like 300,000 coins flat. I think he can go down that much as well. You look at the, the uh, the Alfonso Davies card and how much he dropped off during Bundesliga. If there is any more tradable pack supply dropped in the store, like that player pick or any other crazy content that is released, this card could take a little bit of a hit uh, because he's still semi packable. I'm seeing him a decent amount in red. It's not a crazy amount, but like that's one example of a card that I think could continue to drop further down. So I would be very careful trading with these at the moment. Now, other cards that I'm kind of like, okay, maybe if you want to hold on to these. You, you could be okay doing that is I would be okay with you still maybe holding on to some of these out of pack specials that are from the league one. Hakimi is still right around 90 to a hundred thousand coins. But speaking of Nuno Mendes, right? That was a card we looked at in yesterday's video, the informed Nuno Mendes that went from like 23,000 coins. What is he right now? He is 35 K probably going to go up even more today and tomorrow as people get on the game today and their focus shifts away from playing foot champs matches. You see that a lot, right? A lot of people, even though foot champs is extended, I'm not going to be playing the rest of my games until Tuesday, Tuesday foot champs. It's probably going to be pretty sweaty for me, but um, I'm going to save my games until then. But a lot of people get that done on the weekend still. And then during the week, their momentum and their focus and their demand kind of switches to the cup. So with that being said, some of your cheap League One out-of-pack special cards, I feel like have potential still to go higher during the week this week. You saw that last week with some of your La Liga cards. I think that'll continue. I really like the low tier. Again, like that Nuno Menge cards that are under like 50,000 coins, but some other ones still could continue to rise. So just keep an eye out there. I would continue to hold those, list them for lazies. Uh, the only ones I would maybe be a little bit careful about would be some of those midfielders, potentially. Um, if we do get the Awar SBC, even the, I think, I still think that uh, Genie Wijnaldum is going to make some waves. Um, that showed on SBC, I think, could make some waves when he drops. So maybe again, Doozy, you're a little bit careful with as a midfielder SBC there or a midfielder card on the game. If we get new midfielders introduced, right? That's called a substitute good. A new card comes out that is cool that people want to try to fit in their team. They will sell maybe other midfielders they have and that price will drop. So maybe hold on to those. Serie A special cards, man. I've been looking at a few of these guys still trying to track their prices. The, the window to buy is probably ending on these. If you really wanted to make an investment on Serie A specials ahead of what would be a Serie A next week of team of the season, look at Rafael Leal, 370,000 coins. He was 320 just on, I think, Sunday, uh, sorry, Saturday. Um, that's up a lot, right? So you're more rare, your top tier cards. I did end up making some buys. Like, I believe on Saturday night, Teo Hernandez was 270, 260, 270. And I picked up a couple of these under 270,000 coins. So he's about 290, 300. Um, you know, some of your hero cards like Rudy. Rudy Valer is one that I have actually bought a good chunk of. And I think he's just rising up continually right now. Wow, 240. Wow, Rudy is 230,000 coins. He was about 210 yesterday, and I think I picked up like four or five. So that tier of the market is definitely starting to go up. Watch your Serie A specials. This might be last call. If there's any sort of a dip today, any sort of selling, 
It'd be a really good opportunity to get in on the last couple of those cards if you're wanting to invest or even just to put a couple in your club for an upcoming Serie A Cup. Where's Lucio? Lucio's kind of in the guy we've been checking. Oh, Lucio's still okay here. 108,000 coins. This card, I think, if you get close to 100K, maybe get a bid, maybe get a snipe. I think that's a decent price there. Um, again, especially if the, the Serie A links start popping with that Wijnaldum. I know I mentioned that in yesterday's video, but that Wijnaldum, man, I think could have some really big... Uh, price potential for movement especially if you were to get upgraded for this game coming up later on this week um on the 3rd of june right 3rd of june i think is when that final is so we'll see whenever that sbc drops but Syria specials the train is leaving the station you could say last call on those for sure so that's kind of all that's going on in this game right now right stock your club with gold rares get ready for upgrade packs today and here's what i'll tell you with this man do not be afraid to put 83 rateds into that gold, um, that League One upgrade SBC today. If you don't know what Jack, which uh, SBC I'm talking about, the one we're getting today, the League One Premium, right? Where's is that here? League One SP, uh, XP, League One Premium upgrade SBC. That's what we're getting today. It's going to be eight players from the League One. It's going to require 11 gold rares to turn into that. Um, make sure you turn in your duplicates. You, we're going to get tired of packing the uh, Solaire, Fabian, and Schmeichel. But when you get duplicates for those, rinse them into another upgrade pack or rinse those 83s into, I don't know, one squad of a low rated or a low tier SBC. Maybe you just do Sergio Oliveira, right? So make sure you do that. And if EA, I know we didn't mention this earlier, but if EA would have been so nice this week, if they would be so nice to release a player pick, an 81 plus player pick would go crazy this week with league one team of the season that would be absolutely phenomenal and that could hurt the market more so maybe an l day yesterday to turn into a w day today i don't want to keep asking for 81 plus player picks because i don't expect them at this point it just feels like a lost cause but we're going to cross our fingers and maybe hope that ea do something crazy today on this game for the upgrade packs i've been trading a little bit i really have not touched this game much uh sold a couple of monies that i bought at 237 here um bought all these at 205,000 coins and below so just some quick flip profits there but i'm gonna be off the game today enjoying the holiday away i hope you guys if that is you as well uh enjoy the day but whatever you're doing good luck with upgrade packs today i'll probably try to hit a few on the companion app just of course to test the luck but enjoy the content today we'll be back streaming tomorrow and of course with another youtube video tomorrow but thanks for hanging in there with me today with this different setup not as usual quality as we always are but thanks for tuning in i appreciate the support as always if you guys like the video drop a thumbs up on it it's greatly appreciated comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan account see you guys later peace out